Hello, engineers. Here I've got a large grid mining ship. This is um, maybe not the best solution or the favorite solution of other play the players, but with this setup I can collect entire huge uh, cargo container and bring it to my base. I think it's uh, the simplest and easiest way to get him forward. Okay, well, this is uh, got enough for us from the front of the back and up and down, but not so much from left and right. This is now, what you can see here, the huge cargo container is completely full and we get over 1.6 tons. This landing pad is not specially made for this type of ship, but it works for it. I can here. I got these uh, uh, block watch different color. It's my own orientation for the camera, so I can. <coughs> Place them exact, exact on the connectors. Yeah. Maybe it's just a little with an after drawing script or some uh, kind like that easier but just uh, showing it should also work am I okay, trust this. Okay, it's connected. In the back here, you should not have enough space for a separate connector for uh, another lab and another small grid chip. And but there's no already not finished. Now I can unload it. I'm using the sorter. Yeah, the sorter drains all ore to the connector, and the connector of this ship ship here is also um, in a group for uh, for the IQ script. So the script moves the ingots and ores from the connector to the storage of the base. Over the sorter it takes a little bit to unload the full large container. I think a different uh, solution would be throw all out from the connector and get some uh, yeah. A collector plate, maybe a little about <clears throat> three by three should be enough. The chip and the chip is exact over it to unload without um, connecting to the base. It 
can almost grind the whole of the size of the ship that uh, works already good that's why the the design of the ship so that, that the ship could fit in the hole of the drilling hole and it got enough rust to mine a hole with the moon gravity also in, in space it would not be any problem because there is yeah, no gravity <coughs> how far are you? So anyway, also, what well, you can see here, I got a lot of stone in my cargo container. Um, mo normally, I don't drop the stone while while I'm uh, other kind of busy. The refineries could uh, refine the stone. That brings me some extra. Uh, iron and nickel and silicon. It's not in not a lot than the pure ore, but while I'm away or other but kind of busy, refining risk could that do. It's also bring some ingots. Okay, I'll make a little cut. So the ship is empty. And now can drive back to the all location. <coughs> I like this concept because uh, I can take an entire large large grid uh, contain a cow container full of ores and this is a uh, I can pretty much keep all what I want with one mining trip and I can go here overhead this is uh, a solution there and on the moon the, mo the most ores are not so far away from the surface so they're pretty much easy to get so yeah Press mine again. Right on this down. Oh yeah. yeah. I should get the cobalt. Right. Yeah, I unpowered the magnet plates because why the ship is in the mining hole. There are too many points where they could fit in the ship, attack, get attached, and the ship will be stuck in the hole. Maybe I'm gonna change uh, a little bit the uh, some any edges some f four more drills to get a good hole where the ship could get entire through because this is already not working that what I want. Uh, 
container pretty much. Well, wait, get around. The red container is already half full. Okay, most of the stone, but I use the stone tool too. I don't want to waste the stone. Okay, let's go out. And moon gravity can still fly well. Now with the half half container. You know we got here almost one ton. So I could fly to uh, check another another all location. <coughs> And I've got still enough cargo space for some different auras. This is definitely not the final version. This is a primary showcase for the technique. What? I think that's already pretty much well. Okay, that's it for this video. Bye.